What are the top programs or courses to study in Canada that have a high visa success rate if you are applying to study in Canada as an international student? Well, we're gonna discuss in this video. If Canada is your dream destination, this is your dream channel, The Canada Check, check, Johnny Arms. Check, check, this is me, Johnny Hunts, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about what are the top programs or what are the top courses to study in Canada if you're coming as an international student that have a very high visa success rate. If you're coming as an international student, getting acceptance uh, of a student visa or a study permit is an important aspect of your entire process of international education. Let's dive into, and if this is the first time you're watching this uh, video on this YouTube channel, please consider subscribing this YouTube channel and hit bell button just that you don't miss any updates from us. Let's talk about the first program. MBA uh, really stood out throughout 2021. Yes, master's degrees still have a huge plus point if you're coming as an international student to study in Canada because they are offered mostly at the universities and obviously if something, uh, someone is coming uh, to do a master's whether in McGill or in Concordia or in any university they definitely are seen with a high credibility because it takes a lot to be eligible for a master's degree or MBA at a university. And that is the reason why there was very high visa success rate for MBA degrees if you are studying in Canada. So it's a good option that you can make a note of if you're planning for 2022. The second category of programs that has done really well uh, for international students was healthcare programs. If you're coming to study MBBS or medicine or uh, you know to study uh, anything in healthcare sector then you have very high uh, chances of getting accepted provided that you are uh, following the right process and you are putting the right practice in place to make sure that you get approval for it. If you're choosing nursing and you can choose nursing in a lot of government colleges across Canada. And if, even if you don't have maths with biology, you can still come to Canada to study nursing. Not just that, a lot of colleges are offering good opportunities. Then um, even governments are offering bonuses to the nurses who are joining the public sector. So that is also a great advantage. So this is the best time to take healthcare programs, whether it's pharmaceutical uh, related, whether it is related to, you know, um, healthcare administration, administration, nursing, nursing health assistance, practical nursing, um, any uh, master's degree in medicine. So it's a, it's a great uh, choice as well. Now let's talk about the third category, which is vocational programs, be it pandemic lockdown or whatever was the situation in last one and a half year. One thing we have clearly seen uh, for international students, those who were coming for commercial drafting, commercial HVAC, residential and commercial drafting, or if we talk about plumbing programs, computing support, they had a very high success rate as well in uh, getting accepted uh, as an international student for Canada. Even computing support, this program had a huge advantage over a lot of programs in terms of acceptance for visa uh, success rate. Even with general IELTS, general IELTS, I have seen students getting accepted for computing support. And you know, if you would think like, if it's a DEP program and after doing a master's or bachelor's, will you be eligible to get approval? Yes, people have got approval. That's an important thing I want to share with you that I have seen as a trend in 20. 2021. The third category and a very important category is bachelor's degree. Yes, bachelor degrees bring a lot of credibility. A lot of good colleges have bachelor degrees. However, most of the universities, they have bachelor degrees. So if you're coming for a bachelor of commerce, bachelor of uh, administration, if you're coming for bachelor of business communications, whatever is your bachelor degree, there are high chances of acceptance because only those students are choosing bachelor degree who want to study for four years that shows to the visa officer that this student is a bona fide student who is interested in genuinely studying and not coming for some other reasons to Canada. So that uh, factor has played really well in the favor of international students and that's why there is a high visa acceptance. And just to let you know, there are possibilities that some institutions are offering, you know, a credit transfer from your, uh, you know, country of origin. So you can actually do the bachelor degree in two years as well. And your credits from your home country can be transferred and accepted in Canada as well. If you want to know about it, 
feel free to approach our team. At Check Check Services, our team can help you not only to find the right college or uh, university in Canada, we can actually help you with the complete process of applying for student visa. We have ICCRC certified consultant who can help you that. Uh, along with that, when you land in Canada, we provide with you with the landing services to make sure that you are uh, well welcomed with the right uh, values. That means you get the airport pickup, we help you to arrange for accommodation, make sure you get the pickup for the orientation on the first day, making uh, your appointment done with the, with the bank for GIC, those little things which are important when you are new to the country. And I'm sure once you are well versed with things, it's like ABC, you can go uh, from there. And those are the key things that our team would be happy to offer. And if you want to apply to study in Canada, it's a very simple process. All that you have to have is just fill your information in the description. We have given a link. Fill in your information in the link and our team will be happy to give you a call back. Now let's talk about the next category. The other trend that we have seen was in supply chain management. Supply chain management is another crucial uh, you know, aspect of the entire economy or the ecosystem of uh, any country. And that is the reason why, although in the pandemic, a lot of jobs were closed, but supply chain was considered super essential. And that is the reason why there is a high acceptance rate in supply chain program as well. So if you're applying for supply chain or project management, you have a strong hold. Make sure you put all the things in a right manner. Make sure you show your ties right. Make sure you show the value of your program in your home country. Make sure you, uh, you know, uh, do not hide any facts or misrepresent. Never ever do that. If you follow all those things, I'm sure you will be very successful as an international student in Canada. If you have still questions, queries or suggestions, well, the comment section is all open for you. And very soon we'll be sharing another video that what are the chances why a lot of visas got rejected in 2021. Stay tuned with us on Canada Vibe and uh, we will be more than happy to create more and more content for you. On that note, this is me, Johnny Hans, signing off for the day. You keep enjoying. Check, check.